Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. Tonight I am smoking a no-name pot. It just says made in London, England. And I got this in a trade with Bearded Tamper, and it is a great smoking pipe. I mean, it's just it's just it's amazing how good a smoker you can get without having to have a brand name on it. You know, some of these basket pipes just are great smokers. This one is a magnificent smoking pipe. Travis, thank you for trading with me. I love this pipe. I've been sitting here enjoying this for a while. And just truly loving it. And in it, I am smoking some Casey Jones Heroes Blend that I was sent by Piper 49er up in Alaska. And uh, Mark, thank you very much for sending that, man. I forgot how much I truly love this tobacco. I do need to pick some of this up and keep it in the cellar because this is good stuff. Mm, man, that's good. It's nice to pick up an aromatic once in a while and just enjoy it. And that's good stuff to just sit and enjoy. Mm, taking this to Pipe Club tomorrow. If anybody wants to try it, they can try it. Man, this is good stuff. So I've been thinking about the last year of my pipe journey, joining the YTPC. Well, it's been a little over a year now. Been a year and four months, probably since I I started my YouTube channel. And you know, I look at my pipe collection and, and how it's grown and <clears throat> I've done a lot of trading and I've done a lot of uh, receiving of gifts thank you to everybody who's gifted me pipes a lot I've received a lot of gifted pipes and, and I'm just amazed by that um, and um, and I've tried to gift pipes to others as well. And um, I look at my pipe collection and, and when I started this I had seven pipes when I started my YouTube channel I had seven pipes I had a week's worth of pipes and that was I was perfectly fine with that and uh, I was I uh, traded for a 320. I traded a pipe with uh, Mo Pipin. I sent her a pipe. It was a it was a Joby that had overlaid sterling silver on it, and she sent me a 320 Venezia, which was the first 320 that I ever owned, and I fell in love with that 320. I mean that 320 
was just it. That pipe changed everything for me. And I mean, I was just in love with that pipe. And so after that, a couple of guys reached out to me and said that they had um, some 320s they were willing to trade me. And so I said, sure, and we worked out trades. And a couple of guys sent me 320s and wanted nothing for them. And uh, I was truly grateful for those. And some 8320s came my way. And to the point where it, I had like 10 of the, of the 320 shapes. Um, and I was picking up, you know, when I would see an 8320, I'd buy it, or a 320, I'd buy it, and and the 320 is is by far my favorite shape of pipe, my favorite smoking pipe. There's just something about the way those pipes smoke that, I mean, you know, Matches has his Friday Savinelli, and I've got my 2 a.m. Savinelli. You know, it's the 320. I love the 320. If I could only have one pipe, it would be the 320. And, uh, but the first one that started it was that Venezia that I got from Mo Piping. And I remember, uh, when I would smoke that you know I'd always show it I'd always get comments on that pipe And there was one, one guy who always commented on that pipe. Every time I smoked it, he'd make a comment on that pipe about what a kingly pipe that was, and and that it was there was just something about that pipe, and he just loved that pipe, and uh, and that was my favorite 320 pipe. That was my favorite one. And uh, so he wanted a 320, and so he wanted one like that pipe. And so I found one on eBay. I think it was similar to mine, not quite like mine, but it was similar to it. I sent him the link to it, and he wound up buying that one, and he loved it. And uh, And I thought, well, I'm going to put in my will that this pipe goes to him when I pass away. And I got to thinking about it, and I got to thinking about it, and I thought, well, you know what? I don't want that pipe to go to him with my death attached to it, you know? Not that I'm dying. I'm not saying I'm close to dying or anything like that. I'm fine. I'm fine. But, you know, I, I was just thinking, you know, if I wouldn't want my pipe going to him, a pipe that he loved so much going to him because I died. You know, I wanted him to have it while I was alive. I wanted him to enjoy it uh, with good memories. And I, um, I wanted to see him enjoying it. I wanted to watch him smoke it and see him enjoying it. So I sent it to him. And, uh, he did a video last week or a week and a half ago about it. 
when he got it and it just brought me so much joy seeing him enjoying that pipe that I had enjoyed so much and that is the best part of smoking a pipe to me is sharing something that means so much to you with somebody who means so much to you you know I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but this particular guy and I have become really good friends and uh, he's in England and I'm not gonna mention names or anything but he and I have become really good friends and I consider him a truly truly dear friend and to share something that meant so much to me with a dear friend who means so much to me um, And I've done that before with, with old pops and uh, Briar Dude. You know, I've sent them a couple of pipes that were a couple of my favorite pipes. And uh, same thing with Curmudgeon. You know, they were not pipes that I smoked a lot, but they were pipes that I loved. And... Well, the one that Old Pops got was one I loved to smoke a lot, but... But anyway, I, I, I love to see... I love to share that... that... that gifting of something that means something to me with somebody else who I've become very close with and to see the joy that it brings them and that to me is what pipe smoking is about to me. Now that doesn't mean for anybody else, you know, I'm not saying anybody else should be doing this or not doing this, but I've been able to share some pipes that had a great deal of meaning to me with some other people who had a great deal of meaning to me, Smurf and Ellie and some other guys and and the you know these guys but it was a it this particular pipe and this particular gentleman were um it was like this pipe needed to go to him it just it had to belong to him you know there was something about this pipe that he was drawn to every time I smoked it. I mean, there was a comment about that pipe every time I smoked it in a video. And it needed to go to him. And so it, I made it happen, you know, and and I had planned on that. I told my wife, you know, if I go this pipe, you need to get in touch with this guy, get his address, and this pipe goes to him. And I got thinking about it, and I was like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to go to him with my death associated to it. That would just, you know, I'd rather have it go to him while I'm alive and have our friendship be associated with it. And the, the love we have for each other as friends be associated with it and the joy that that pipe brought me go to him and have that pipe bring him that same joy that it brings me and for me to get the joy of seeing him smoke it. And so that's that's the greatest joy that I've found from pipe smoking. And you know, I have a a lot of friends that I've made through this. I, you know, I have a great pipe club with great friends. There have been, you know, pipe trading and swapping and gifting in that that group, and 
it's amazing and uh, but that's the greatest joy for me smoking a pipe is is to gift something to somebody that has great meaning to you and to gift it to someone who has great meaning to you as well so that those two gifts and the meaning behind them are the gifts of giving them that pipe and giving them that joy and uh, that's the best part of pipe smoking for me and uh, you know I've had people do that for me and I wanted to do that for others and that's just the best thing for me so I just wanted to tell you guys that you know what my greatest joy from pipe smoking has been and that's been it so um, I hope you've enjoyed that I don't you know I just uh, I've just gotten a lot of joy out of this whole YTPC thing and you know all of the, the trading and the gifting and the all of that kind of stuff has been awesome and uh, I'm just thankful to all of you guys and um, God bless each and every one of you and I love you all and um, thank you for letting me be a part of the joy of this community. I love you all. God bless.